and and yeah. you touch chat gpt and and of course chat gpt and everything related to generative ai um are now starting to create uh, and i think it's going to be probably the biggest disruption is that they are democratizing the process of software development product project management organizations but at the same time not necessarily changing the jobs are creating new ways of of working that are more effective more advanced so but uh, this has a lot of disruption because if you are a conventional software developer that is doing in one way and suddenly you can actually get the code from gpt and actually optimize different things things are going to be explored in terms of the possibilities but you still need to have the skills and people forget that so um mm -hmm. what are your insights about that because this is of course i'm sure especially for an organization like yours where actually we have a lot of case studies of people that can actually create an entire website using chat gpt and a lot of things are going to be even going bigger. But in the end of the day, you still need to have professionals like the top 3% that mm -hmm. you guys are targeting. So in your case, the top 3% will be the top 3%. But this is going to create a lot of especially chaos in the way you approach the process, the, the project management, and even the way a business should look at code or software development. And uh, I would like to hear because, of course, as an expert in this, in this area and as well in the company that is leading with the top this is a, a very key element that is happening right now in the industry. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think that I can speak for all of the data scientists on our network to say that they are very active. Interesting sort of time when we face these major disruptive events. Uh, but we need to understand the context of the disruption in order to understand how do we best resource. And my, part of my job is to help advise our clients as far as how to resource these problems amidst disruptive change. Uh, one of the jokes, of course, from an HR oriented perspective is that you see this major technology disruption, all of a sudden you start seeing all these job postings asking for uh, five years of experience using uh, chat GPT or doing prompt engineering or something like that, right? And it's kind of a joke because we see a lot, especially in the specialized spaces like security where uh, a job description will end up having an impossible requirement associated with it. Because of course you can't have five years of experience with gener any generative AI because it didn't really exist in the form that it is, is in now. But that's not to say that it wasn't being developed, right? Uh, I worked in a um, machine learning context and applied to uh, bug tracking, uh, bug identification in software development. And I did that five, six years ago. I was managing a team doing that where I was doing early uh, machine learning work. The models that we're using now for machine learning all stem from research that has been that's decades old. We have had people working in this space for a long time. We just happened to hit that one moment in time, that disruptive event, ChatGPT. Uh, when ChatGPT came out, it just, that was the killer app that we're always looking for, for new technologies. We're always looking for what's really going to appeal. It's not necessarily the best way to use the technology, but it's what has created the appeal, right? So... We know that there are a lot of people, there are professionals all around the world who have been working on this problem space for a long time. Those people are getting leveraged right now through the TopTal platform, which is fantastic to see. But I also want to shift to that experience side of things. The experience side of things is really, really important to suss out because being able to understand the experience side of things, you start to look at the fact that you don't need a data scientist for every way that you're going to apply a generative AI solution to a problem. In fact, the data science part may actually be a small component of the overall project investment that's going to be required. You're going to need, for example, full stack developers who know how to write APIs to uh, be able to attach uh, correctly to the um, open AI uh, or BARD or whatever their API sets and incorporate that into the language of the application that you're developing. You're going to need people who understand how to write questions correctly in order to leverage those large language models. They're, they're not necessarily going to come from a... Uh, data analytics background. You might find, uh, for example, SEO experts uh, from the marketing space are really, really good at forming queries 
to um, go against the generative AI. You're going to need finance people who are going to help you understand what the financial investment is going to need, uh, be in order to build your own models so that you're not sending personal or protected information over to these open large language models. Uh, you're going to end up having to build your own model that is then shielding yourself from that. There's a lot of investment in infrastructure that's going to be required for that. And then you're going to need the architects and the engineers in order to build that infrastructure. So part of what I'm saying is that to be tunnel focused on just those experts who understand this new disruptive technology, but to recognize that experience is going to be organic as we start learning how to use it. And you need to, the companies that are going to be most successful are the ones that recognize that having the experience is going to be part of what's going to be developed as part of their exploration. So what they want to look for is they want to look for the key sorts of background of people who are going to be best able to gain that experience so that they can accelerate beyond the organizations that are quite frankly, just going to be looking for uh, the people who have already gained that experience and they're going to be left behind. This is key. And I, I, I love the way you put it because it's it's an, an entire, well, it's a continuation, first of all, like you said, but as well, there's a, a restructuring right now of a lot of conventional ways, like you said, API architecture, all these different things. And and this is going to create, a, a, of course, a lot of new jobs, but of course, mm -hmm. a lot of the experts will have to work on this. And this is, I'm sure, that's the advantage that the platform like TopTal brings because you guys have much more intelligence, much more data to deal with these things, even to find immediately a talent around these areas.